Alright, this is my official review for the Apple iWork 08 software. Basically, the Apple 08 iWork software is Apple's version of Microsoft Office. You have a program called Pages, which is Microsoft, which is the equivalent to Microsoft Word. You have Keynote, which is also the is the equivalent to PowerPoint, and Numbers, which is equivalent to Excel. We'll start with Pages, since Microsoft Word is probably the most common used application of any on a computer. Now, the first thing you'll notice when you, when you see this screen is that it doesn't open up a new document like what Microsoft Word does. No, it actually opens up a templates page. Now with most Apple products and some website uh, designing software, you will start with templates. These templates are designed to make things easier. Obviously you do have a blank document in case you're writing an oddball assignment maybe for school or something like that. But you have um, different types of letter formats like modern letter, traditional letter, typewriter letter, Tokyo letter, Dublin letter. Letters you've never heard of, but of course somebody's heard of them before because they're on here. You have envelopes, um, invoices, uh, resumes, reports, storyboards, calendars, newsletters, advertisements, you name it, there's a template on here. And uh, just to give you an example, we'll start, uh, here's a newsletter. Now this is just a template, obviously. Now if you wanted to, you're going to want to change this, obviously, because First of all, this isn't a language, it's just a bunch of letters put together. But let's say you wanted to change the image right here. You would simply click on your media button up here, find a picture you wanted to put on, drag it, and it's right there. Just like so. And then obviously you're going to replace the text, and if you want to change the color, you have a button up here called Inspector which does a variety of things, changes your text, uh, your character spacing, maybe if you uh, want a chart or such, uh, maybe you want to tilt the picture, or you want to put a reflection on the picture, it's all done right here in the inspector. And obviously, like I told you, media is to videos um, and pictures, colors, and then you have fonts. And, you know, just with any word processing program, you're going to have fonts. And just the fonts on here are absolutely amazing. Uh, they, they look, if some of the fonts you'll actually recognize from shows that you see on TV. And it's, that, it's the laydown of uh, pages. Obviously, in the event that you are going to be opening, opening this up on a Windows machine, you're going to have the, you're going to run into the problem that Windows machines don't run pages program. Well, Apple has uh, yet again designed a simple way of doing that. You're going to go to File, Export, and you'll have four choices um, to export the document. You can save it as a PDF, a Word document, an RTF, or plain text. Obviously, you're going to want a Word document. You click Next. It's going to open up and want to know where you want it. We'll call it Example 1. It'll export right there. Don't review it. Command Q. And then since I'm, oop, I didn't mean to do that. Cancel. And obviously, because we're running Leopard, we have stacks here on the side. So if we wanted to find it, we have to look down the list. Twenty-five more in Finder. And because I have so many documents in here, it'd be hard to find it. However, it is saved as a document letter, and it's in here. Um, it's in here somewhere. It's actually right here. Example 1. And right there, it's saved as a Word document. And you can actually see it right there. Then we come to Keynote. Again, works just like... Uh, it works like PowerPoint, and, but then again, you have these templates right here, which makes things quick and easy. You do have your blank te um, template, and I'll actually show you um, something I've been working on lately. I'll just go to desktop, I'll force this presentation right there. And this is actually a an example of a template right here. I haven't done anything with this slide yet, but I'll... 
they got great transition effects and you get that seamless look as you do with any Apple media presentation. I'll show you the first three slides I made. Obviously, um, simple, but uh, very nice looking. Look at that transition effect. And you can actually, like I told you, you can add media. We have uh, video going up here. And it works just like, you know, QuickTime you got. You got your pause and skip buttons. And this is my favorite transition effect. And then we come to the next slide. It's, it's very, very, quite nice. And again, you have the same buttons in Spectre for doing different types of things. You select your transition and such. Maybe if you want to tilt the picture or you want a reflection, you simply click that. You got a reflection right there and you decide on what you want. Um, it's all very simple. One of the things I find helpful when you're stuck and you don't know what to do is you have this help button on here and you'll actually come across video tutorials. Click on that, it'll open Safari and it'll take you to a video tutorial um, site. Uh, and they're very helpful, very simple, and it explains everything that you want to know. You know, using Apple Design Themes right there is our first topic. It'll open that one up and we'll get a video here. Right here it starts and it comes to load. Right there. So it it really is a great help. And even if you even if you don't think you need to, I didn't think I needed to, and I actually really ended up not absolutely having to. But you know what? You learn how to do some cool stuff. So, and obviously, like I.